About a thousand pickets and their families gathered close to the entrance of Corden Wood. It was, they said, a display of solidarity and pride. Like so many other demonstrations during the last 12 months, their presence was matched by a big police turnout. The pickets had arrived to prove they weren't defeated, a view echoed by their colleagues at the hut known as the Alamo on the official picket line. Strike got to finish sometime, and we'll go back down the pit and we'll fight it a different way. Why has it happened, do you think? Why are you having to go back there? Well, it's, the, it's these scabs always drifting back to it, you know, as you know. There's a lot going back, and if it, if it continued, we'll be in a minority. But we're going back in a, a majority. And you've been working alongside some of these men, of course. How, how do you... Uh, how do you I feel very bitter against them. I shan't talk to them at all, these scabs, because I've always been brought up to, add, to, to respect a picket line, me, and I shall never cross a picket line, because it should always be the trade union policy. Anybody who crosses a picket line is a scab and be a scab for the rest of their life. Are you sad, uh, saddened by what's happened? Yeah, very hurt. Do you very feel hurt. in any way that you've wasted your time for the last no, year? No, if, it's, if it started again tomorrow and I knew how it would happen, I'd still do the same thing. Because I really believe in what I'm fighting for. The pickets were joined by their wives who marched past the pit entrance to lend more support. The police line opened briefly to allow them in. Today's demonstration was a final act of defiance before the return to work. But with no settlement and no amnesty in sight, it could well mark the start of more troubles in the Yorkshire coalfield. Well, I won't like the decision, but yes. If they advise it, yes, I will. But if that is the case, I mean, then isn't the strike lost? No. Why not? Well, we've lost this round, but we haven't lost a battle. So what is there still to... I mean, would you be in favour, then, of actually staying out? Yes, as long as it takes. But what would be gained by staying out? I and mean, what do you think you've gained by being out for 12 months here? Well, I mean, we are fighting for his lives. I mean, what, what can you do when you get a, a clown like that? She's ripped the country from... right from head to foot. She's ripped it apart. She's done more damage to this country than Hitler did with his flying bombs. But do you think that the future of this pit, which is after all is what you're all concerned about, is any more secure now on the basis that you've been out for 12 months and it was the day you started? Well, they give us... they say there's five years' work left in this pit. Then they give us five weeks to say, more or less to say, get out. So, I mean, we're, we're, you know, who's telling the truth what they're doing? We've got now, we've got this pit open again, haven't we? But we've got to think of these lads at what? That's about six, eight hundred over this 12 month who are decent law abiding citizens. And yet, through this carry on, this, this woman's cause, this, well, this evil bitch's cause, and she's made them criminals. Well, let, let me put, put the point to you. Have, do you think. Obviously, you're all of one mind on that, but, I mean, do you think that your jobs are actually any safer now than the day you started a year ago? I don't think they are. Well, I don't personally, but what it proves to me is, after all this time and all this length of time, is, is that it's just not our jobs and it's just not our pit. It's not even our industry. The not even the, the single industry in country that's safe. And there ain't anybody who can sit back and say, well, it's OK, I'll follow what government says, and I'll do as I says, and my job will be safe, because it's not true. So as far See, as you're concerned, then, the strike is not over, the, the things oh, no, you fought for is not over. over? Because we're still, what we're fighting for is a principle, and that, and that principle is right to every man, is to work. And if you don't, you ain't got that right, and you ain't got that, that thing behind him, then it makes, it makes note worthwhile, because she's just taking everything away. What has been very going. significant, though, here in Yorkshire, as indeed in many of the coal fields, of course, is the role which, which the women have played. What do you think, um, actually, this last 12 months has done to this community? Has it divided it irreversibly, or has it, in fact, united it in some strange way? United it, it's out to do, aren't it? Because everybody's out to work with each other. Everybody's out to help each other. If you tend to be in for women, not just in this community, in all coal fields, there wouldn't have been a strike for 12 months. And let me just tell you this, that if it's left to women, they can go on for another 12 months because there's no way is that bitch, what she doesn't realise is she is a bitch. She doesn't care about anybody. And that's the difference between her and us. I've been called a bitch, I've been called everything. But I care. She doesn't. She's got everything she wants. 
All we want is the right to work. For but you obviously better work. understand what, what you've done this last 12 months and why you feel very strongly about it. But the question I think many people watching will want to know is, how have you really advanced your cause, even though you've been united and solid? What have you, how have you advanced your cause? How have you made things any safer, any better here? Well, I don't know what you mean, how have we made things safer and better. It'll never be better while we've got her. The thing is, we've worked. We've worked to feed us families, to keep us families together, body and soul. And that's what it's all about.